and let's get moving. All right, so now um, we looked at Shadowbox, a quick demo. The other thing that I think is really important for you to be aware of is groups loops. So we're going to go into geometry, we're going to go into edge loop, and this is where all the cool stuff is happening now. But we need to be mindful of the old school uh, groups loops right in here uh, mostly because this sets us up with the basic features okay so let's talk about the the, the key elements the the key workflow here the idea the thing that ZBrush is going to assume that you're doing is that you're going to make a selection and a selection equals uh, is done by visibility or it's done by masks or even by textures in which case it's RGB or there's some masking value or it's just everything that's visible so first you make a selection okay and then so that's step one and then step two is that you convert the selection in some capacity to a group okay now what's happening with polygroups is that polygroups have ways to make the selection so you just press one button and you're done and then once you've made polygroups then you start working with um, topology and deformation. Okay, first topology is done so that ZBrush controls the effect. So remember from what we were talking about with transpose, that was the beginning of ZBrush controlling topology, your model's topology, so that it could control what it does. In the future, you could bring anything in and ZBrush might in the background it might have its own topology that it calculates and that's ideal for the behavior and then it recasts it on the fly you basically automatic topology on the fly I keep saying that but that's what's coming up so topology uh, to control effect and then some sort of deformation or action that is the hard surface workflow in a nutshell the issue is how do you create the polygroup what kind of topology and then what kind of uh, deformation is happening here so all of this stuff the selection and the polygrouping that's really kinda of boring that's all prep work so how do you do you know this is all stuff that they're literally compressing they're trying to find ways to compress all of this into as simple as possible and then also topology and deformation they're compressing that so that what's four steps eventually becomes two steps that's the ultimate goal uh, that you can see and you can see that with um, uh, with uh, panel loops so for example let's just showcase the hardcore one I'm gonna come in and make them uh, I'm gonna make some kind of mask edge loop this masked border can't have polygons so I'm gonna edge loop the masked border and I'm gonna panel loop that let's increase the thickness and we have a separated out piece of geometry well two separated out pieces you can smooth around that and you can see totally separated new geometry new topology all of that stuff this is all you know it's all fine and dandy but that's ahead of the game so we know that the first step is that you have to make a selection somehow so the way in which you make selections is usually you have to make some kind of mask and so your mask may be whatever you draw or you might as we did earlier go to rec drag rectangle and you might say need to drag specific shapes okay make sure your focal shift is on the negative if you really want that to to retain a shape so this is back when uh, masks or sorry alphas and masks ruled the day you would make an alpha or a mask and then you would go from there this day is largely over 
because of things like insert multi mesh brushes things like that where you can actually have geometry you can actually have a 3d piece of geometry for an arrow uh, and all of that stuff so polyframe we've created these guys we've made a selection now we need to convert that selection into a group so we have to come down to poly groups we have to use one of the options here so you you have these automatic like group front group visible group by normal auto group all of that group from poly painting from masking um, and then group masked so we're gonna say group masked control click and drag to clear the mask and there you go